Look at this shocker. Doing the old behind the head milkers again. Um, day 93, I believe. In this workout, I increased the weight. So, as I've mentioned in previous sessions, that once I can get 15 reps with that first set, I up the weight. Uh, so I was doing 105 and I got 15 for several workouts in a row. So I did the first set with the 110 and we got 13. And then the second set I bump up to the 115. And this gym I go to, the heaviest the dumbbells go is 100. So I'm jimmy rigging all this additional weight on. Uh, and I got nine reps here with the 115. And I was kind of, you know, my tempo's a little slower, a little more controlled. I was honestly a little bit nervous. 115 pounds is absurdly heavy um, to be putting behind your head. So I just wanted to make sure that I had good control and I was hitting my cues to make sure all the stabilizers were holding... Uh, things in the right position. Second set of curls, I think we got 13 reps, so I added a rep to each set of the curls. The form's a little sloppy, a little sloppy joes uh, for lunch today, but in the next workout I'll do kind of a rep cleanup type of workout where I just aim for the same number instead of crease increasing. So my three sets for curls were 14, 13, and 12, and so in the next workout I'll just keep those numbers the same and try to do the reps with a little bit cleaner form. And here, I wanted to show you guys, after I do three sets of that stuff, I do one set for tries and one for buys where I'm really focusing on speed. And my idea here is that adding this in will help me to increase the weight and it'll lead to additional strength gains. I've noticed that in the past with some of my other training. When I used to be able to hit chest, I would do these like speed rep sets and I found that it really upped the amount of weight I could uh, bench press. Um, so I lower the weight a bit for the overhead extensions, 95, and then for the curls, the 90. Form-wise here, uh, I'm realizing that I need to lower the weight a little bit more. That angle at the elbow is not really extending enough, but that's one of the upsides I've found with recording my sets is when I'm doing this set, I'm not really aware of this. You know, I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm kind of going blitzkrieg, trying to move the weight as fast as I can, uh, so it's useful to be able to look at it afterwards and, and, and adjust. So the next time I do this, I'll make an effort to extend more. And um, I've been doing that for maybe about a month, adding in those explosive sets. And my hope is that it'll lead to more strength gains in those movements, which then in turn will lead to more muscle gain, because that's what we're after. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.